while a lot of the days of fashion rules or me telling you what you should and shouldn't wear i do believe that i've come a long way dressing my pure shaped body so i want to pass this knowledge on to you i think it's extremely important and it makes all the difference if you know your body shape and to dress for what flatters your body type the most believe me you will instantly get a spring your step you will get more confident and just getting dressed is much more enjoyable that way remember the days of those jeans with the lighter wash accents especially like the lighter wash accent on the booty to make the booty look bigger and even worse is like the ones with all the ribs i mean oh my god it's just terrible and i admit i've been there i've been a victim too but those days are in the past now instead what i opt for nowadays is just a simple classic blue wash straight leg jean nothing complicated i tend to go for darker washes because these are a little bit slimming and of course high waisted because this accentuates the smallest part of my body and most of my jeans are cropped because i love to show a little bit a sliver of ankle don't try to reinvent the wheel if you're pear shaped like me just try this out another thing that i don't buy anymore is anything that's hip length so basically all the overcoats the jackets the bomber jackets trench coats all of that if it hits me right at my hips it's a no it's an instant no for me instead i opt for a maxi land a cropped land or either case something that covers the bum pieces that hits us at the hips it just accentuates that part of the body even more and it makes the look look um, disproportionate it looks when you adjust a photo just in the width instead of also adjusting it in the length it just looks very cartoonish so for example jackets i love the cropped one that i have from ami it just hits perfectly on just above my hips blazers i love my oversized blazers all of my blazers past my bum and for coats wool coats and trench coats i love to go for a maxi length because this really elongates the body and it just looks more elevated that way and this also counts for the base layer so t-shirts shirts sweaters i always tuck in most of the times like sometimes if i want to do something different i'll leave the shirt out with like some leggings but in general all my tops are always tucked in again i really want to accentuate the smallest part of my body i tend to steer clear from anything form-fitting i don't know just body con dresses is something that i don't do anymore i remember the days when the bandage dresses like from house of cb from express from bebe you guys remember bebe like in the mall i used to be all over bebe and i remember for my graduation i wore one of those i looked stunning i can't lie but my body was just built different when i was 22 <laughs> Like, first of all, I have a little belly that I'm way too conscious about to be wearing like things that are too form-fitting at this age and the bum is bumming, okay? So we gotta be modest over here. I mean, there is a time and a place, I'm not gonna lie, but in general, I tend to stay away from those. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I do have one form-fitting dress in my collection and it's black, of course, so what's new? But most of the times that I wear it, it's like with a oversized blazer over it so instead of the classic pencil skirt go for a-line skirts instead of booty shorts just size up in your shorts one or two sizes get it tailored taken in at the waist just to make sure that there is enough room between your ties and the fabric just to it looks way more flattering that way instead of the body contrast these days i tend to lean more towards a slip dress or sundresses instead of leggings i go for white leg pants so the key here is to have the waist nipped in and flare out the rest next up are pants with built-in belts another instant no for me i have tried them believe me i have tried but it just doesn't work for my body shape anything that adds bulk to my hip area so embellishments bulky belts patterns extra pockets it just doesn't work instead i just go for a simple trouser or pants no bells and whistles just something super classic tailored it can have some pleating but that's it all my pants are just solid colors it's nothing like groundbreaking and if i 
feel like the outfit is missing something, I'll add a belt myself. There is just so much power and simplicity. That's 100% what I believe in. All right, I touched on this one before, but I just don't do low waist, low rise anything. I'm team high waisted all the way, even mid rise is pushing it for me. I find that high waisted pieces are a good disguise for my little tummy that I told you about before. Again, it accentuates the tiniest part of my body. And in my opinion, it's just so classic. Like it's not something that goes in and out of style. If you look at tailored men's pants, it's mostly high waisted or like mid rise to high waisted. And low rise things are just something that's a little bit more trendy. And for some body shapes, it really works, but not for mine. All right, that's it for this video. I really hope that you learned something. Even if you're not pear shaped, most of these tips work for a, a variety of body shapes. So if you already knew about these tips, maybe it's a refresher for you. Um, I hope that the examples also made the point. My points are a little bit clearer. So if you enjoyed the video you got value from it don't forget to subscribe like comment below share it with a loved one let's just spread the word remember we are on the road for 100k this year so let's make it happen and yeah thank you so much so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye